All right, so this is what the clubs look like when we started. I got the three iron polished up. I got it sitting in the bright nickel plating solution. Let's just see how it's turning out. Look at that. Damn, son. That looks really good. I'm very, very pleased with how that's turned out. Even look at the hook that it's sitting on. Look how shiny that is. What's up? I'll see your face. Yeah, man, looks good. All right, if you want to learn how to make your little homemade electroplating tank, stick around for this video because you'll be able to do this. Check this out. Whoa. Here I have a very small, hefty six and a half quart Tupperware container, and it has a lid, and I wanted a lid because if I leave the nickel plating solution here, I'll put the lid on there so it doesn't get contaminated. But really what we're trying to get to is we're trying to get to a place where I can have uh, a copper rod that's gonna go across the length of the container so that I can ultimately hang clubs or club heads in suspension like this while I do the electroplating so that you know, there's plenty of space on both sides so I can put a, a nickel anode on this side, a nickel anode on this side. And then all I have to do is connect the wires to this thing as opposed to trying to connect it to a club and contaminating, again, the, the nickel plating solution um, while that club's in there. So it's just gonna be a little cleaner. So um, a couple things I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna uh, try to put a hole here on both ends so that I can slide this through. I don't want to drill it, so I'm actually have my soldering iron that I'm just going to burn a little hole through there because when you try to drill these inexpensive Tupperware things, they just seem to shatter. So I'm going to put a hole on this side and this side so that I can put this rod through there. And then I'll show you the other equipment. And I'm using sort of finger quotes behind the camera here because there's really not much equipment to use. I think I showed you how to make a charger to do electroplating. That's super easy. I have alligator clips. Uh, but there's one thing that I do have, um, and it's it's going to be pretty important, and that is this um, this little air pump that for an aquarium. So when we electroplate, um, sometimes bubbles form on the thing that you're plating. So in this case, it's it's a club head. Tiny little bubbles will form on that. So um, the the nickel ions don't want to penetrate those bubbles, and you get uh, sort of bad adherence or um, sort of uneven adherence of of the nickel when you're plating. So the recommendation is to keep things moving and that's why I have this little aquarium pump. So we're just gonna drop it into there. You can ge generate some, some movement with some bubbles uh, to hopefully move, get the bubbles off the surface of the club head and then just kind of keep things moving around so we can get all the different angles that are involved in this club. So uh, that's one piece of equipment that you probably wanna have. Um, otherwise, if you you know, you're welcome to shake your tank every couple of minutes but that seems like a lot of work if you just want to kind of set it and forget it and walk away so let's just do a couple of steps at a time you know this is kind of an organic project for me i don't really have any any plans uh, but that's that's the beauty of this channel right it's diy and i don't want you to have to buy a bunch of stuff that you don't necessarily need let's do it on the cheap but let's make some quality output when we're we're doing these steps so let's do it So this is a soft copper rod. I actually have a smaller one than this that I'm going to use. I bought this one because I was going to make a larger tank, but I figured I'd make something a little smaller just because I'm going to do one club at a time or one club head at a time. So I actually have a smaller one. I don't know what the size. I think it may be, I don't know, less than one quarter inch. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to poke this through uh, the holes that I just uh, created, and then I'll just show you kind of the general setup. And then I'm going to mark mark off where we want to cut it off so now I have the pole going through the entire container I'm just going to use my marker here and give me about I don't know maybe one inch on both sides hanging off um, and then I'm going to cut that next thing I have are these copper pipe hangers that connect to I don't know, the ceiling when you're hanging pipe. Um, 
I think this is going to be a really nice way to hang the, the club and suspension, but it's a little long here. It's actually touching the bottom, and I want these to curl up a little bit more, so I'm just going to use um, either some pliers to bend those or put them in a vise to bend them just so that they're facing up a little more, be a little shorter in the suspension so that I'm not hitting the ground, uh, and we'll see how that looks. Directions. Okay, so now I need to prepare my nickel plating solution. So this thing comes with some instructions. It says to mix this bag with a gallon and a half of distilled water and the brightener to at 180 degrees. So I have a pot here, it's full of distilled water. I'm gonna go put that on the stove, bring it up to temperature. I'll bring it back down and then I'll dissolve the, the uh, salts in the water and then I'll add the brightener, which just looks like that little container there. for my homies. So while the nickel's cooling, let's retrace the steps that we've done so far. All we've done is taken this little inexpensive Tupperware container, we've melted a few holes in the side to accommodate for this copper rod that's gonna go across the entire container. This copper rod is going to be negatively charged and it's going to be a, a brace to hold on to this copper wire that's holding on to our club. By association, by touching, this is negatively charged because it's hooked to our power supply. This becomes negatively charged because it's touching the rod and therefore the club becomes negatively charged. On this side we have our nickel anode. We have a nickel anode and these are connected together through this little wire with alligator clips and when we connect the power supply on the positive side we will have a complete circuit so the nickel ions will release from this donor metal into the nickel solution it'll get lost and confused and it's going to want to find a negatively charged source the negatively charged source is that club base and it's going to, all the nickel irons are going to mechanically bond to that club. Only because we have a nice full circuit here. So once you learn this technique, we can do it with anything I have here. I'm going to make the same thing for some copper. Right? We can reuse this same bucket, the same power supply, the same suspension for other different types of metal. But for this specific example, we're going with nickel. Right? And then what I'm going to do, I saved my jug here from the distilled water and I labeled it bright nickel. And that's all we got to do, man. We just got to pour it back into the bucket, turn on the power supply, and we're off and running. So let's see how that goes. It's almost cool. So I'm going to pour it in there, uh, see what's left. I'll pour the remainder into a um, container here, throw a lid on it so that we can save it for later. I don't know why it's not focusing. There you go. Um, 
And yeah. Okay, almost there. All I gotta do is test this out. This is the little aquarium aerator. I'm gonna put that in the suspension there. Plug it in. Yeah, that's cool. Perfect, okay. So now all we gotta do is try it out. Guys, check this out. This is so freaking cool. Look at that. That is incredible. I mean, you can just tell on the copper wire that it's nickel coated, but man, that is dope. So we're gonna leave it in there. We're gonna enjoy a little golf and a little Dos Equis Amber. Boom. Trial and error, had no plans, but look at that. I got a little home plating tank working right now, shining up some Mizunos. Man, look at that. That looks incredible. Remember, look how shitty they looked before I started. This is what we're doing, kids, on this channel. If you like it, hit the like button, subscribe, tell a friend, whatever. Leave a comment, say what's up. Thanks, guys.